What's up guys? We've seen a lot of talk about Quant's price being boring, it's not moving, it's a stable coin, and we've all heard that. But here's the thing guys, it's important to focus on the long game, the technology and the leaders. And in today's video, I want to focus on the force behind Quant, the man who is pushing this project forward. We'll delve into Gilbert Ferdian's career background, his ties to the Bank of England and his broader affiliations with the British government across various sectors. So in my opinion guys, it's absolutely crucial to understand the man who is behind this project you've invested in and I feel that there's not enough information out there about this specific topic. If this sounds interesting then please hit the like button, make sure to follow me on x at Steph underscore is crypto for the latest updates and here you can see some of our recent trades out of my signal group. If you want to join as well, if you want to be more profitable then click the first link in the video description. So who's the force behind Quant? Well Gilbert Ferdian, a name synonymous with innovation, deep ties to the financial sector and a wealth of experience. With over 20 years of cybersecurity and leadership roles, Ferdian's resume is unparalleled. Here's a quick overview. First of all, he was CEO and founder of Quant Network and still is since 2015. He also worked for the Bank of England, former cyber head, ensuring the financial stability of the UK, so absolutely massive. Also, he worked for the Federal Reserve of the US, not just once, but twice, first leading the Secure Payments Task Force and now an active member of the Fed Payments Improvement Committee. So he still works for the Federal Reserve, which is absolutely huge. He worked for the Ministry of Justice. He was a former head of security and he still actively works for the UK government here, UK Parliament, which is absolutely huge. Uh, this guy has really strong connections. So what does this really mean for Quant? Well, with Gilbert Ferdian's deep connection, connections and quants advanced over ledger technology, the future looks really promising in my opinion and that's why I am continuously DCAing at these attractive prices. Let's now go to the price chart of Q&T to do some technical analysis. Observing the all-time chart for QNT, we can actually see that QNT has been in a lifelong uptrend here since the listing on CoinMarketCap here back in 2018. So uh, consecutive higher highs and higher lows, and that's why this is one, if not the strongest asset in cryptocurrency since 2018. Let's now go to the chart on TradingView, and this is the three daily time frame. We're looking at the Binance as a data source, and here we can actually see this downward sloping trend line as I discussed in the previous update as well we need to close a three daily candle beyond this trend line if that happens then i do expect a lot more upside to come for q and t very fast um, anything i would say in between 100 dollars and 80 dollars is a significant buying opportunity an amazing time to dca at these uh, prices in my opinion don't take this as financial advice of course i'm not a financial advisor but this is just what i am doing this is my own strategy anywhere in between 100 dollars and 80 dollars i am definitely buying buying and stacking up on my Q&T tokens. If you want to be more profitable as a trader or as an investor, then consider to join my trade group. We're doing long and short positions depending on the market direction. Here you can see one of our recent positions here out of my trade group. Beautiful profits here on Maxi. And if you don't want to miss out on trades just like this, then click the first link in the video description. It will take you to my Buy Me A Coffee page. And here you can see a lot of other people that joined already. Definitely check it out if you're interested. In my opinion, guys, QNT will be one of the first movers in the next major run up for crypto. Why am I thinking that? Well, the last run up for QNT was actually from June 2022 towards October. So we have been correcting, we have been trading sideways for almost a year now. So it's about time for the price of QNT to see another rise towards the upside. And I already showed you guys in the previous update that we are also gaining a lot of strength against Bitcoin. And it's very likely that QNT will outperform Bitcoin in the next few months to come. So keep an eye on that. This was already my update for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a comment below. Also like this video. I think this is an amazing buying opportunity, which we should all take advantage of. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you in the next Q&T update. Bye-bye.